Yeah, this is Cody Nelson here. We're in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, not too far from Lake Geneva. I'm with Adam Lash here. Uh, we're just gonna talk about this interceding plot that we've got going on or trial. I guess it's more than a plot. Adam, can you tell me what's going on here? This is a silage cornfield that we decided we were gonna try some wild things with, and we interceded sunflowers, cow peas, field peas or forage peas, and buckwheat. And we also did some understory with some brassicas and some clovers. Um, this was planted green the 28th of May, perfect conditions. It was planted into cereal rye, hairy vetch, Austrian winter peas, and uh, triticale with some forage rape in there too. Um, I would say it looks pretty good. We did, did apply 210 pounds of N and we've, uh, we did one burn down pass. How did you apply the N? We broadcast urea, AMS, and ESN. At what, at what time? Um, at about V before and then again we came back in right before canopy okay can you tell me a little bit about this particular strip because this whole field doesn't look exactly Dude, like this. this what what happened here this was a screw up the planter was monitor was messing up with me and uh, so we we uh, broke a, a pin on half of the planter and we kept planting and then when we came back and interseeded um, the corn was just about spiking so we waited about four or five days after planting the corn was just about up we were watching for it to spike and then we came in through and split the middles and interseeded. And uh, I mean, this is a pretty neat looking. So yes, there are a few weeds in here, but to see a cow pea pulling down, you know, all the cow peas just vining out, we've got some massive forage here. It's gonna be some awesome stuff. Uh, so can you tell me, you, you were, we were talking before, you said you planted green. Mm -hmm. um, no and tilled, then... planted three inches deep. Um, you know, no starter, no fertilizer. Can you tell me about all the attachments you got on your planter or what your planter is all set up like? I actually took it all off. All I run is a Coulter heavy duty, or no Coulters, heavy duty down pressure springs and really good sharp seed discs. What's, what number planter do you got? John Deere 7000. We completely rebuilt it. We run precision meters. Um, the corn was planted at about 28,000, 29,000. It's a silage variety. 109 day corn. Looking pretty good. Healthy. Okay, well, I want to I want to go through and go in. This is obviously the whole field doesn't look like this, but I'm just going to go over here. We're on we are on 30 inch row spacing, but this is what it looks like in between the 30 inch rows. You can see we still got some sunflowers. You can see the cow peas this is and actually, buckwheat. Yeah, not much going on here. This, this we'll come over to this other side. Look at the cow peas vining up the up the silage corn. It'll That's be awesome. harvested with a with a Kemper head, big cloth chopper. This might maybe be a concern if you were going to harvest it. I probably wouldn't do the sunflowers. No nope. cow peas are debatable. Uh, I don't believe they'll cause a lot of issues when you're, if you were trying to combine, but they could. Mm -hmm. Just look at the plant health. It's beautiful. And this was a wet spring. It sucked. It really, really was not an easy spring. But isn't that the advantage to planting green? Mm -hmm. It planted so nice. Nobody believes it until they do it. What did you, what did your neighbors say? They thought we were crazy. This they is the second or third year we've done it, so it's not. They're starting to get used to they, it. They, they, it. The first time it was, oh, that's beginner's luck when the corn looked really good. The next time it was, well, maybe he kind of knows what he's doing, but he must, still must be lucky. What did you know? what did the chopper say? That your custom chopper when he came in last he year? He pulled in last year and he's like, okay, you're doing cover crops. You're after what? You planted green, and he's like. When the when the corn was taller than the chopper trucks and the chopper boxes, he kind of went, you know, maybe you know what you're doing. So he's getting more interested, but it's going to take some convincing for some of these guys. Absolutely, but it takes those people to see. They'll spread the word. Mm -hmm. uh, just to clarify, Adam is not five foot tall. No, <laughs> um, he is probably six 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 four. Six, four <laughs> I'm guessing. Yeah. So uh, corn's looking very good here. Um, I appreciate everything, Adam, um, and we will uh, we'll keep in touch. Make sure to like our page, Cover Crop Kings.